welcome to this tutorial which is around importing a gecko rouge chart into pattern keeper a app designed on android for cross stitches so in one of our other videos we saw the importing of a chart that had all of the floss numbers uh, already within the chart gecko rouge are a kit company and don't supply the floss numbers that come with uh, the kit instead they give you floss cards uh, that are numbered so we'll see how to import one of those so again we click the plus sign to add a new pdf and we use our cloud service to navigate to where the chart is so today we will import area 54 so same as we saw previously, the app is currently calculating the size of the grid where the symbols are placed within the grid and so on. So this may take a moment depending on how uh, powerful the processor is and how much RAM you have in your device. So as it doesn't recognize the designer of this chart because the charts literally just come as a chart with nothing else, it wants to try and understand if there is any overlap so that it can be removed in the chart. So you're asked some questions. Effectively, you're being asked to look at the little part, little section of the chart and to see, is there any gray that you would normally see in an overlap or a lightly covered edge? Because sometimes instead of gray, <coughs> the symbols are actually grayed out, so they become faded, but we can't see any here. So we select no. And we'll have a look at this section as well and we can't see any grey so again we say no so as we can see here the chart has imported successfully however it couldn't import the shrink numbers which makes sense because there aren't any in the chart so we're now being asked to effectively get those thread numbers into the chart so what we can see here is a blank mock-up because Pattern Keeper doesn't know which colour is assigned to which symbol, but we have all the symbols down the left-hand side waiting for us. All these symbols are pink and they're pink to, to be able to recognise that actually they need some support. So if we were doing this with a chart that we had the DMC numbers or the anchor numbers and we needed to input them manually, we could tap on one of these which will bring us a pop up that allow us to type a number of the floss and select whether it's DMC, Anchor, Sullivan's or we actually don't have. So it's custom. So if it's not one of these or if, as we'll see later, it's one of the manual uh, color inputs, we'll use the custom selection. We can also add a blend here by tapping this. It will allow us to put the second color in just as an example. If I save that, we can see now that we've got a blend. But I'll, uh, what I'll actually do is import the floss card that can come with Gecko Rouge. So by tapping on the advanced options, you get two choices here. One is to import your floss card from your Gecko Rouge uh, kit. And the other is to assign a flat grey colour to all the unassigned symbols. So if you don't have a floss card and you don't want to try manually assigning the colours or you're just in a rush to get in and get started, you could actually just assign a flat grey colour. It will look pretty grey, but it will allow you to carry on into your chart and start stitching. We'll go back there and I'm actually going to import the thread card file. So again, we need to navigate to where this thread card file is. I will go into Gecko Rouge. And here is my Area 54 thread card. So I select that. And as you can see now, all of those colours have been imported uh, and assigned the thread card number. So if I just tap on this top one again to show you, this is a brown colour. It's been assigned as custom. It's not a DMC that, or anchor assigned number. And according to the floss card, it's... Uh, color number 40. So my mock-up looks correct so I can now go into my chart as we did previously. 